All right, workout worthy. Welcome to Amazing Abs. This is a quick, effective core workout that's going to tone and condition all of the muscles in your midsection. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and save this video. Your workouts do not have to be extreme, but you do need to be consistent. So come back to Workout Worthy anytime and be consistent with me. We're gonna start with some basic crunches. So come onto your sit bones, holding your hamstrings, lay back nice and slow. Fingertips behind your ears, elbows are nice and wide, reaching through the crown of your head, lifting to a hover, and then a two cow basic crunch. Exhale up, inhale lower. We're looking up at the ceiling on an angle, really feeling light, like we're stretching our head to the wall behind us, keeping our elbows out nice and wide, shoulders are low and relaxed. Exhale up, inhale lower to that hover, so we never relax through this workout. Exhale up, inhale lower. We're gonna do one more nice and slow. You can stay at this pace or single crunches, lift and hover. Contract, control. No bouncing, no momentum. Think about those abdominals, contracting. That's what's lifting us up, keeping that length. We're halfway, we're gonna do up to eight more single crunches. Inhale and exhale. Contract, control, lift, and lower. Two more, and we're gonna slow it down and add a knee, corner, back to the hover. Other side, corner, and back to the hover. Exhale, and inhale, exhale, and inhale. Let's do four more, nice and slow. Leading with your shoulder. You don't wanna be pulling with your elbow. Contracting the core to make these movements happen. Two counts up, two counts over, super slow, controlling the movement, single tempo, alternating sides, strong and stable, not wobbling back and forth, not using momentum, inhale and exhale, now if the speed feels too fast, go at your own pace, inhale, exhale, contract, control, lift and lower. Four more, three, two, and one. Now at any time, if an exercise does not feel comfortable, you can do the previous exercise or you can go back to a basic crunch. We're gonna do some layout crunches. Legs are out straight with a neutral spine, stretching through the crown of your head. We're gonna lift to that same hover and then basic crunches right here. Up for two, lower to the hover, still feeling that length. Like you're stretching your head to the wall behind you, gliding up that wall instead of tucking your chin or rounding your back. Halfway. Four more, nice and slow. Belly button is sucking in towards your spine, training these muscles to contract inward. One more. You can stay at this pace or single. No bouncing, no momentum, length and strength. Chin is level off of our chest and we're still looking up at the ceiling on that angle. Halfway. Eight. Four left. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Now we're going to slow it down and we're going to add the knees again from the layout. So we cross and extend to the hover. Cross and extend. Always having the option to go to the previous exercise or go back to a basic crunch if you need to. Four more. Slow and strong. Take those whole two counts. In for two and out for two. Exhale and inhale. One more. Nice and slow. Exhale. Single. Control it. With the leg extending, it's a bigger range of motion. So if the tempo feels too fast, go at your own pace. Inhale, and exhale halfway. Inhale, and exhale. Now we're gonna stay in this layout position. The next exercise though, is gonna go based on time, not speed. You can keep the knees bent, or we can straighten the legs. And the reason I like to go based on time, not speed, is this is such a long lever with a straight leg. 
Make sure you're controlling the movement. We're strengthening all the muscles around our torso. That includes our back. So we don't want to compromise any of the muscles with the challenge. Breathing. We are halfway. That was 30 seconds. We're going to do 30 more seconds, alternating. If the straight leg is a little too intense, you can go back to the bent knees. And if you don't want the lower body moving, you can always go back to a basic crunch with your legs extended or your knees bent. Keep it up, 15 seconds. Belly is sucking in towards your spine. All the same rules apply. Even as the exercises get harder and even as we get more fatigued, we want to keep good form. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and done. Okay, legs are going to extend. We want our legs vertical. We want to keep them stationary. We're going to stretch through the crown of our head, lift to the hover, face the crunches. Up for two. We're back to the tempo. Super slow. It's a small range of motion, so taking two counts to lift is part of the challenge. Exhale. Let's do four more, nice and slow. Contract and control. Contract and control. Try to keep the legs stationary so the legs are not moving. You can stay at this pace or single tempo. Contract and hover. Keeping those legs stationary. Core is doing the work here. Now if you need more, bigger range of motion, reach your hands towards your legs. Now if that's too much on your neck or if it doesn't feel right for you, keep your hands, fingertips behind your ears. You can stay where you are, or the final crunch is going to be adding rotation to this movement. Just a little rotation, reaching your right to your left, then your left to your right, like where that logo might be on your shoe. Legs are stationary though, so they're not moving up and down, they're not twisting, it's your torso that twists. Inhale, exhale, belly is still sucking in towards your spine, keep it up. If the tempo feels too fast, go at your own pace. Inhale and exhale. We've got eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Reach those arms up overhead. Extend your legs out straight, stretching through your fingers, reaching through your toes. A couple nice deep breaths. Bending your knees, holding your hamstrings. Round up nice and slow. We're gonna carefully come onto our stomach, lying prone. Arms are gonna be right below your forehead. Legs are extended. You wanna feel length like you are stretching through the crown of your head, stretching through the tips of your toes. Belly button is sucking up off the floor, contracting your core. Keeping that length, we're gonna do super bent. Arms stay at the floor as you reach and lower. Now we are stretching towards the wall in front of us and the wall behind us. So don't think about arching your back. Don't think about lifting up towards the ceiling. Really think about that length reaching through the crown of your head, through the tips of your toes, keeping your legs straight. Now if you need more, you can keep your hands on your forehead. That's going to take away some stability. It's going to add some resistance. Do not let it negatively affect your core. And if it's not what you need, keep those arms down. Now, if you still need more, you can extend your arms out straight, making a longer lever, more resistance to lift. The goal is to work just outside your comfort zone. It should be a challenge, but we want to challenge our body safely. Reach and lower. Exhale. Inhale, hover at the bottom so we don't rest, we don't relax. We're gonna do four more. Reach and lower. Reach and lower. Exhale. Inhale, last one, best one. Reach and lower. Great job, hands come next to your chest. Sink back, extended child pose. Reaching through your fingers. Sinking your hips over your heels. Couple of nice deep breaths. Round up nice and slow. 
Fantastic job, Workout Worthy. That was a quick, effective, amazing ab workout. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, and come back. You don't need to be extreme, but you need to be consistent, so be consistent with me.